Hello! Um, <laughs> oh, what the freaking hell? This is not even the right game. I am stupid. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> may I still play in Super Mario World 2 Plus? 3-1 is completed, however, it is no longer on YouTube, the original version, so let's do episode 19, 3-1 the Rock Quarry, all over again for reasons. There's Brontobert here, I say Brontobert because his name is Bert the Bashful, so I got them confused. Brontobert, of course, being the old enemy from Kirby, he is a flying face. As Kirby often has critters like that, and we got some stars. It's a quarry. I am retconning yesterday's episode, so uh, just put it out of your minds internally and forever. Even though this is not blind anymore, it's just a, a take two basically. But it should be more fun for me because for me, seriously, the commentary is a huge part of what makes it fun for me to play. Like, really, it is. If I don't commentate, then I actually don't get as much enjoyment out of the game as a freaking like, freaking blind people. Okay, yeah, 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 I hate the blind, so please just go get them restored using LASIK surgery or, you know, whatever needs to be done. If you don't know what that rock is for, you will know it a sooner day. So what the hell was they talking about? Oh yeah, commentary is very important to me while, like, playing. Because if I play a game normally now, it just doesn't necessarily give it the same amount of happiness, basically. It'll just be a different kind of happiness, so it, it, it's, 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 it's a weird situation. And there's flaming people and dead birds all over the place, it is a quarry. And of course, you can expect dead animals from all the, you know, industrialization going on. We just gotta push a rock at high speeds, so that it hits a beautiful little cloud and grants us a flower of beautiful day, isn't it? It's a nice evening. It's evening right now as I'm recording this, so it's fitting. Goodbye, Mr. Burtman. Oh, dead people! Ugh. I like how their feathers just like fly all over the place. Let's not die to the exact same thing as in the other video. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Hey, 3-1 lives and 3-1, uh, it's, it's like a, a mystery or something. Is it a fat person? Yes, but no. Yeah, can't I just do this? Like, I'm stupid, why would I risk life and limb when I could just do the easiest thing possible? I have no idea. I wasted that guy, he was in my mouth so he did not get converted, but I still would have been one short from maximum health. And here we have Harry the Hippo. You can throw eggs at him or eat him when he's small. But if he is a large person, which you will see momentarily. See, look at him, he's large and you cannot harm him when he is large. Can you step on him when he's small? Definitely not large, but oh, whatever. We got a little mouse guy who will help me bounce up here. In theory, yes, got it. Hello there. Goodbye, you have been ingested and digested by my, you know, large intestine, and small one, and my third intestine, because Yoshis probably have a huge, complex body structure designed for ultimate and, like, extremely brisk and quick digestion, that's how they are able to produce eggs, which, they are not eggs used for reproduction, of course, they are eggs used to encase their odorous and completely gross fecal matter, so just... Be happy that they don't expose that and encase them in a shell. It is their way of protecting nature from the nauseous gas that is their bodies. And Kamek has returned to us, and I duck underneath him and get hit by things because obnoxiousness. And I didn't check if that chomp rock unlocks anything last time. It doesn't really seem like it does, so that's unfortunate. Oh! <coughs> cough, 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 apparently. But uh, yeah. Does it, uh, do anything here? No, just, just eggs everywhere, getting hit in the face everywhere, yield good times everywhere. It doesn't really matter how many, like, stars I lose because I discovered last time that there's kind of a way to farm them eventually, so not something I'm particularly concerned about. Someone has unlocked something over there, you probably heard it, it made a mystical, mystical noise. Yes unlocked that thing and then he missed because he's stupid 
baseball players need to have good aim, otherwise they fail at their sport, so you are shamed one, Mr. Bat, Glove, Green Glover, whatever the heck their name is, I don't remember. Well, I should know this. I have seen their real name many times before, probably once or twice, or said it. Something like that. Freaking Kamek, how are you able to sneak up on me like that? I'm not sure. That is a tactic I used before. It seems to work pretty flawlessly. And now, I'll just throw an egg to get that, because... Laziness and... Oh! That guy is throwing a thing at me. Whoa! I don't remember this part for some reason. I guess I must have just, like, glided all over it or whatever. Oh, gee, I am... Oh no, I'm... No! I, I just was not sure if I was going to survive there, so... Glad I did. Glad I did. Kamek, you're a jerk. I don't want to experience you any longer. I remember this part of the cave. I remember there being something there, so that's why I moved there, I think. It did seem kind of suspicious, so you can't really blame me for sort of looking at it and saying, hmm, there may be a thing there, and that's why I found a thing. Not saying anything of importance, and that's just kind of how I roll. Sorry, everyone. Georgette Jelly, also kind of on a roll. Ugh. You can eat it, it's like Flandre. Except it's not, it's like flan. It's different. It's like pudding. Georgette the pudding. What is a pudding? What is not? What the hell am I saying? Like, not even anything... Oh yeah, yeah, remotely... Anything, but that's you know that that's just fine. That is just how things happen. And now we fly through here, releasing our catched bats from the cave that is our mouths, so he may fly free in a larger cave. So Bert, people here, these guys, when you see them in pairs, if you kill one, the other one will still respawn. But uh, we have to find the ones that are in pairs for that to work. How many stuffs do I have? This is perfect, I think. I remember there being like nothing in this section. We can burn dead birds, burn fat people. Yeah, if they're in pairs, and flames will not permanently kill enemies, so don't worry if you burn a person. So, yeah, 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 go back and just kill one. And, well, I guess I have to demonstrate it now because I'm doing horribly, but. Um, let's freaking get rid of the freaking flames. Hello, I'm dangerously close to getting mauled by stuff here. Okay. So yeah, one of the guys is dead, but they both respawn, and I get hit again, because trying to, you know, explain what's going on is absolutely impossible, apparently. Just go away, angry dead people, and angry fat people who like to jump around on each other, playing leapfrog. Learn your place in society. You cannot exercise. It is against the laws that nature has put forth. If you are large and in charge, ugh, you are not loved. Okay. So now, whoa, whoa, what, what, you're not supposed to be alive still, you're supposed to go away and then come back later where I can assault you again casually. Thank you. And now we can move on with all of our powers intact, and there's a guy, an angry ghost who was attracted by sound, so ground pound to make lots of noise. I'm actually not sure what constitutes as a noise to him, like does licking, does looking at a guy with beady eyes and a huge nose, not sure, just can't decide. There's a dandelion with a pretty fat stem. I think those are, like, not dandelions, but mushroom spores or something. Like, that's just... I feel like a dandelion would not grow in a cave. That's... that's impossible. Things that are impossible don't happen in video games. I'm well aware of this. I'm completely and unabashedly aware. Oh yeah, and I have this key too, so I can go in this door and retrieve the secrets from within. As you can see, it's a bonus game with bonus music that's extremely bonus filled. And you can crush a guy and then use the rock to climb a mountain. Why am I climbing a mountain? To get a flower, of course. We only need one more red coin. This episode is going to be like shorter than the other one by like two minutes, but whatever. We found everything. And see, even if it's not blind, it's still entertaining to play. Like, I think I gave this game a little bit too little credit in the last episode that you probably didn't see, the majority of you, but whatever. I think it's still fun. Like, this level was nice, kind of barren in places, but still enjoyable to play, so that's fine. The roulette! Oh, I love the roulette! Let's bet a lot of lives. <laughs> like, I'm afraid to bet them all right now, but let's... Let's bet, um, how many? I want a bit more than that. Let's go back. Let's bet 27, because that's my favorite number. 
Oh man, lucky number seven times twenty, <laughs> except plus. Oh yeah, I need to actually press buttons to make the roulette stop in places. What will I get? Times. Do not land on zero. You landed on zero. <laughs> well, six lives. It's it's enough to get by on. It's enough to get by on. So see you guys next time when we do um, this level. It's called three dash two, and there is a titan with his magical force field surrounding him. It is. A very crazy thing. So see you guys then.